Hey guys, Brandy here. So today I'm going to be covering different packages you can install in Atom, your text editor, to make your coding process a lot smoother. So let's get into it. All right, so you're gonna wanna go to atom.io and if you don't already have it downloaded, go ahead and push this lovely red button to download it for your computer. Um, if you do, um, then you can just kind of take a look. This tells you a little bit of what it's about, that it kind of runs off of packages that you install and also different themes. Um, something great about Atom is that it's super customizable, so you can actually create your own packages and themes and then install them into your editor or make them open source and put them out there for other people to use. So something that really bugged me when I switched over from Sublime was that it didn't have the multi-cursor. Um, so I did some digging and I found that you know it was a package, which is how I kind of learned about the different packages for Atom. So you just have to go ahead and then install this one. And what you do is you go over to Atom and you want to go to your preferences. And this kind of opens up the core of your Atom. Um, text editor. So you want to go into the install and you want to type it in. You can see that I already have it so you're able to uninstall and also disable it if it if there are bug um, that comes up or if you're not using it or you don't want it anymore. Something great to note is when you're searching different packages like say we were just to search React um, you'll be able to see how many downloads they have which is great because you know people are using it. Um, and the same goes for like different themes that they have on here. So yeah, there's um, Babel React Syntax. You can pretty much find anything on here. Um, and also if you need any packages that need to be updated, they'll be on here and then you can update them. Um, usually Atom is very good at reminding you, um, which can also be annoying when you have packages that need to be updated. So. The next thing I wanted to show you guys was this thing on GitHub, which is on github.com forward slash atom forward slash snippets. And it's just what it sounds like. It's essentially code snippets, um, which saves you time um, when you're writing out different things. So I've taken full advantage of this on my other computer in creating snippets of things that I use all the time. So if we go to our Atom again, we go into Snippets, you can open this up. Um, you want to make sure that every single snippet falls underneath this, so indentation is super important. Um, like it says right here, it uses CoffeeScript um, notation for this. So this is a simple um, just class component for React, um, or React Native, I guess. Um, so if we were to go to a file, just how this works, I type in class and I hit enter and there it is. So and it's just kind of that initial setup so I don't have to even think about it. I can just type it and um, this is usually how a lot of my React Native components start out. So that is that. So make sure you go to github.com forward slash atom forward slash snippets. Um, and if you have anything else or if you have any input, just um, let Adam know. Or if you want to start creating your own packages, it's super easy. You can just start building and then let everybody else use them. Thank you for watching the quick tutorial on Adam. Hopefully it helped you out. Uh, please subscribe below to my channel for more tutorials. And definitely leave some comments on other things you would like to learn. Thank you.